You unlock this door by pressing play on your podcast player. Beyond it is Aspara, another world. A world of distractions, a world of horrors, a world of betrayal. You're moving into a land of neither good nor evil, of blurry lines and gray areas, of what happened last time on The Incursible Party. With the morning's arrival comes their allies' departure. Slava returns to his people to warn them of the Niogi threat. And Dreg is adamant that his anchor points turned weapons cannot be turned over to the paladins of Coltis, giving the party a forlorn look before teleporting away. Yet they are still not alone. Alamar is difficult to forget, as he makes his presence known, offering a solution to Falzern and Shaft's revenant problem. You've now crossed into the continuing adventure. Directly ahead of you, pushed against the far wall, is a short wooden table, yellowed thread and thick strips of what looks like leather adorn its surface. There's four bulging leather pouches, uh, probably a little bit bigger than what like a coin purse would be, but they're very clearly constructed from the loose materials that are sitting atop the, the surface of the table. Kind of the bags are in this haphazard pile at, at one end of it. Floating 10 feet above the floor, kind of flanking either side of this table, are two human skulls. And they're engulfed in flickering green flames that cast this eerie glow throughout this clock tower. As the portal activates right and you step through, you're both still invisible. You see the, the, the skulls, they do move. Their attention is drawn towards the portal. They don't move from their position as they see basically this portal activate and then the wall form behind you. But immediately you hear heavy footsteps reverberating through the floorboards before a trap door that is flung open, set into the, the floor of, of this room. Grandmother Isabella, have you come to check up on me again? As a hunched, purple-skinned woman appears through the opening, clawed fingernails scraping the clock tower floor as she ascends the steps. Lips snarl back as she's calling out, revealing needle-like black teeth. And she kind of, again, peers into the room, looking around. Numb? Skull, have you seen anything strange? One of the one of the the skulls kind of responds, "Nothing but me sockets, Miss Jessica," and the second skull just erupts, <laughs> clattering teeth. You know, like a like one of those teeth, those mouth toys, the 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 teeth that clatter and walk across the room. Like quiet skull, numb isn't that funny. Really, Mrs. I thought it was quite humorous. <laughs> this woman, Jessica, clearly by the this brief interchange, she kind of inf- ignores her, her floating companions. Again, she's kind of peering around the room, looks very confused, and you see her her eyes they begin to to cloud over, turning a, a milky white, and that silver sphere set into the clockwork mechanisms it begins to rotate and it a split forms as two halves of it slide back like eyelids to reveal an inky black pupil ringed by a dark green iris flecked with deep purple it flits around the room as it's moving um, in tandem it's like Jessica's also moving her head searching the room until it finally settles upon the two of you, despite your invisibility. Num! Skull, we have visitors! And it seems they're a bit shy. Come, come, you've come to visit Jessica. Tell me your names. Who are you? I'm not going to say anything, and I'm going to start moving towards the, uh, the trap door. Is it still open? Yeah, yeah, so she stepped up, and the, the trap door is in, like, what would be to your, your far left corner. I'm going to sort of put my hand around trying to find out where Falzern is and see if I can clasp onto his robe to to grab him. And then as I move, can I can I find him? Yeah, yeah, he's like standing right next to you. I'm going to sort of give him a couple tugs and then I'm going to start walking towards it and I'm watching the eye and I'm watching her 
to see if they're following me as I move towards that, or if they've just somehow detected us. I will grab uh, tightly onto Shaft's uh, hand or wrist um, and kind of follow his lead. And as you take a few steps, shuffling to your left, right towards the trap, and the eye and Jessica both turn and follow you as you step. I can see you. I'll, I'll, I'll sort of look over at her and go, You're not supposed to know we're here. Wait a second. I know you. The lanky one. Falzerin. You used to be Isabella's favorite. And, oh, the short one. You must be Shaft. Where's your big hulking companion? She was... She was quite fun. She's not with us right now. We're on a mission. And, uh, you know, we're really not supposed to be talking to anybody, according to Isabella. Yes, yes, it's... <laughs> no, no, no. I don't think so. Tell me why you're truly here. Well, you know, there was a rumor that there's this uh, piece of armor we're looking for. You know what we're talking about? Of course. Yeah, and uh, it's possible that it might be here in Vixure. I assure you it's not in the city. Are you sure? Yes. Oh. Well, that makes our job a lot easier, then. Uh, b by the way, uh, your name is? <laughs> Surely my sister spoke highly of me. Jessica Good. Yes. Oh, my mistake. How could I have not put two and two together? Jessica. Oh, you're... The one and only. You're Jessica. Okay, well, that's that makes a lot more sense. You understand why we were so reserved in talking to you. Now, Jessica, perhaps you can help us out a bit. We're kind of struggling with these portals. Do you have any tips and tricks? <laughs> Quite frankly, I'm surprised you're able to activate it. Why? I doubt Isabella taught you how to use it. Well, how else would we know? Well, I imagine from our newly anointed sister. Perhaps she doesn't know how to be discreet. No, I, I, I mean, Isabella very clearly told us what the portal password is. Oh, then you meant to end up here. Well, she told us what the password is. The problem is, you know, we, we don't really know which door goes to which thing, and that's our problem. And unless you are a member of this coven, you will not be able to figure it out. Well, well you're a member of the coven, right? I certainly am, but I will not be leading you through. I still have work in Vixure. Wow. Well, what, what's left for you to do? I mean, we're, we're right at the end of this. Uh, the weapon's already... Uh, we've already got the weapon. We're, we're getting ready to get the last piece of the armor. What else is there to do in Victor? That's what Isabella is taking care of. I have my objectives. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe this is a big ruse. Maybe she sent us here for a reason. I, can we help you out? Isabella did not send you here. Now, you can certainly scamper back through the portal. If... You make your way back to her. Tell her we had a lovely conversation. Cool. So, uh, do you mind if we hang out here in Victor for a little while and then take the portal back out? If you leave this clock tower, I will not let you back in. There's no need for you. If you'd like to descend to the city, be my guest. Well, it's, uh, it was lovely meeting you, Jessica. I guess we'll be on our way. And I tug on Shaft's arm. Yeah, uh, I... We'll see you later. I wink at her <laughs> and turn around and head back towards the portal. So I will. Uh, I will try to activate the portal again using the secret word. Okay, and it does work. Okay, I'll step through. I'll follow. And again, that same spinning as you're stepping in, obfuscating the door you just exited, the orientation, even the last time, the last two times you're in here. Everything just thrown into disarray. And if you'd like to choose a door, you can roll me another d6. So the, the door that we came out of, can I take my dagger out and scratch a V on, on the face of the door? You can make a mark on the door that's behind you. Yeah. If you'd like. But yeah. again, there's no... Rhyme or reason. Like you don't know for sure whether or not that is the door you actually just exited. Like I'm that's gonna, what... I'll do it. I'll do it just for the sake of it. Just because it... Uh... Maybe it will help us in the future. Maybe not. Six. I don't know if that's good or bad. 
but like that smile. <laughs> as you open up, <laughs> as you open up the door, and again, it, it it's like it ushers you through as soon as you're flung it open. You step in to the keep in Heracleon. Shakara and Mia, you step through the portal from the cave north of Goldham after activating after activating and leaving Falzerin and Shaft behind. And of course, again, Shakara, you step in to this long 30-foot hallway, you know, a door directly behind you with five more set into the, the flawless stone uh, around, up and down this hallway. And you know exactly which door you need to choose to make it back to Heraklion, back to the keep. And I assume you are choosing it. <laughs> yeah, would I know that if I was to leave the door to exit the hallway first, would the portal close behind me, or will it remain open for whoever is left in the hallway to come out also? I don't think you would know that. Did you want to le- try leaping in before Mia? And Yeah. As you kind of step through, Mia is able to make it in after you. Like, it's not like, you know, as soon as you're past the threshold, it slams shut or anything like that. That was another question, but I meant, like, leaving the hallway to go into the keep if I go first into the keep. Oh, oh I, I'm sorry. My apologies. As you open the door, and again, you're, you're opening it, it's kind of, I guess it's a feeling I didn't really describe to you the first time you used it, but as you're using it and opening this door... It's as if you're you're like ushered through it, like past the threshold. So you can't you can't just open it and like fling it open like you would like a door separating two normal rooms. Uh, even as you are opening it, there's kind of again like this that, that red shimmering void within the the frame, right? So you know you get it open a couple inches and that's what you see. So it's not like you're looking through any type of actual open doorway. Until basically the the effects of of the port the teleportation is really what it is, kind of shunts you th- over the threshold, uh, and Mia as well. So it seems like everybody in that hallway is affected by the use of one of the doors. While we're talking about it, would I know if I could go out one door and somebody could go out a different door? Well, again, based on these experiences, it doesn't doesn't seem that way because like, Mia's not attempting to do anything with the door, and neither did any of them the first time you used it when you left the keep. Right? It was just like the single door, and all of you appeared on the other side of it. Mia, I do not know what we will see inside the keep. What do you mean? Well, I do not know if we will run into Isabella or any of her minions. Let us try and keep a low profile. I mean, (laughs) I look at us. Um, okay. I do not think Isabella would be alone. And I do not believe the two of us could take on her and anyone she would have with her. Yeah, that's true. I don't... As much as I want to... Wait. I thought you joined Isabella. You... You're thinking about getting rid of her? It may come to that. Like I said, I am doing what is best for Aspara. It may come to light that Isabella is not what is best for Aspara. Yeah, I agree. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we could take her, and you are right. We should try to get in and get out. Um oh, I really hope Grimby's easy to find. I really, really, really wanna uphold my promise. I'm hoping he is at Janela's. Uh, we can hope. And we must find this person that Alamar knows. True. Mullen, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, did he say where he would be at all? No. Great. Which is why I had wanted Falzerin to come. Yeah. Alright, well. Here's to blending in. Yes, we can try. Okay, we'll go through the portal. And again, you both, as you're, you know, cracking the door, it's like that, that's very strange. It's, it's like there's no actual instance of you completely opening, like finishing the, the movement of opening the door. You're just on the other side of the threshold. Again, back to the keep. In this great hall, right, where the, the portal is located, you see that long table that was there in the very first time you visited the keep during Isabella's inauguration into uh, her eldership. Isabella, 
Halsa and about a dozen other wizards are huddled around that long table near the back of the great hall with uh, you know Izzy's misshapen bodyguards in their their dark gray robes standing still as statues between the the pair of the large double doors thrown open to the courtyard outside as the portal is activated Isabella she's immediately is drawn of course to to the two of you oh my Shakara Miss Brightwood back so soon <laughs> already we have discovered there may be a chance we could procure some items that will help us on our quest. My, my. That's quite interesting. She kind of turns to, you know, the other wizards and quickly, like, dismisses them, basically. Wait! We are looking for one called Mullen. Do any of you know them? And they all kind of look to Isabella. A few of them give a you know, a, sh- a head shake. Oh, why are you looking for Mullen? It's it's all to help get the armor that you want, Izzy. It's Shit, um, wait, we are looking for him because he has the items we need to aid us on our quest. Hmm, I see. Uh, yes, I think we can speak in private. Uh, please, th- you all have your directions as she turns back to the wizards. You see uh, a couple of them are rolling up like large sheets of parchment and taking it with them as they leave, just leaving Isabella Halsa and her two bodyguards. Please, please, uh, make yourselves at home. I'm afraid speaking to Mullen may not be as easy as you think it is. There's been a few changes, even in the, the brief period that you've not been in Heracli. I mean, we basically left and slept. What happened? Well, after Sardo's performance at the Knowledge Center, he caused quite a stir. And uh, I do apologize for letting him loose like that, but I was just holding up my end of the deal he and I made. I certainly didn't wish any harm upon Shaft or Falzer. Are they okay? As far as we are aware, we have separated. Yeah. Um, so what was this deal you made with Sardo? Well, I was hoping that he could pose as Alamar momentarily to, to bring a bit of a order to the city and allow the transfer of leadership to go a little more smoothly, not to frighten any of the Heracli audience. He did quite a good job of the latter. I'm afraid so. As a result, I've had to discredit Alamar and his claims to eldership of the city. Unfortunately, it's caused a bit of a divide. I'm sure. So, what of Mullen? You know who we speak of? I do, I do, yes. I'm curious. How do you know Mullen? We found somebody that had known of him. And did they tell you where to find him? Obviously not, if you're asking for him. All we have is the name. Hmm. Well, there has been the creation of a group, I suppose. I don't know what they call themselves. They long for Alamar's rule. And unfortunately, that's just not possible to, to recreate. Many of us here... Enjoy the new freedom that I allow them. So where can we find this group, or which dungeon did you put them in, because... I'm afraid uh, I haven't been able to quell this resistance. They've only recently begun to mount. Okay, well, Mullen has something that's going to help us complete this job for you. Or, Isabella, do you know of any way to shield our minds from being controlled by others? By the Niogi, specifically. Well, there are certainly a, a number of magical items you could probably use to help you. Yes, that is what we were That's told we're Mullen for. would have. Yeah. Well, I hope Mullen does not have a stockpile of weapons. Oh, we didn't hear that they were weapons. We heard they were artifacts that could protect our minds. Sounded more like trinkets that would be useful. Mm-hmm, maybe an amulet, a ring. Yes, I, I do like trinkets. 
Perhaps I, I can help you instead, yes. There's no need to seek out Mullen or any of his supporters. Can I roll an insight? <laughs> yeah, you can roll an insight. Considering the situation we now find ourselves in, mayhaps that is the best course of action. My insight's 29 on her saying she can help us. I just want to know if I believe her. She certainly has the ability to help you. I'm super afraid of putting on an amulet and then becoming some slave or something stupid. (laughs) (laughs) Everyone's getting enslaved. (laughs) That uh, certainly could be something to be wary of. Okay. Yeah, again, like when she says she can help you, like you know for sure like she'll be able to offer you something. Okay. Some type of magical item. Whether or not it will perform exactly as you're hoping... (laughs) <laughs> that's yet to be discovered. Oh, but uh, nice. it's not unwise to have those concerns. Shakara, you start to feel like uh, like goose flesh form, you know, which I don't know how you, how much, how much, how many scales are covered a dragon in <laughs> their whole body? Like you're kind of, you know, I imagine like uh, on the inside of your forearms, right, where you apply your brands is scaleless. You're branding it, right? Kind of like get, get this like feeling over you. Almost like a shudder goes through your body. You see that Isabella kind of has a similar reaction. Oh, oh my. Uh, what was that? What do you mean? What? You did not feel that? No. Feel what? Isabella? That was somebody activating our portals. Jessica? Perhaps, Jessica, yes. I don't know where she would need to go. She does know her business in Nixia. Does anybody else have use? Of course not. That's specifically coven only. Or meant to be. So then, it would have to be Jessica, right? Well, there are only three of us that know the activation words. At least, I assume, only us three. She <laughs> kind of makes direct con- eye contact with you, Shakara. Mia is straight-faced. I did not teach it to anyone else, but I did say it in front of the others once. Well, Fazerin, for all his flaws, is not entirely imbecilic. So he may have used the portal. You think Fazerin capable? Well, if you know the command phrase, yes, you can step in and through activate it, but there's no way he'll be able to control where they appear. Interesting. I'm sure they're just waiting for us. It's a... I don't think they would have used it, right, Shikara? I would not put anything past Shaft. Isabella, you said you had artifacts that we could use. I think I could come up with some, yes. How much time would you need to procure these items? Oh, only a few hours. It's just a matter of speaking to the correct people. I assume the four of you would need one? Ideally, yes. Have you seen or heard of Grimby? Grimby Chum? I am unfamiliar with this Chum. He was someone we owe a debt to. In the city? Hopefully. We hope. I gave my word that I would heal him of his feeble-mindedness. Oh my. And who inflicted him with that? Quite powerful magic. Alamar. Yeah, we believe it to be Alamar. Ah, I see. Before his untimely demise, then? Unfortunately. Well, if he's in the city, I don't know where he is. We shall go search for him and meet you back here? Of course. I would caution... Who you speak to in the city. Many of them know of our alliance, Shakara. Those against me would then also be against you. Would they attempt to attack? I don't think they would be so bold. In broad daylight? No, no, no. Still, caution, I would advise. You're certainly safe in the keep. Unfortunately, I am fairly certain he's not within the keep. Though we do have an idea where he may be. 
Excellent, excellent. And our friends are okay? Yes, yes, I've seen to it. They are as well as they were when you last saw them. Thank you. Who? Let's go, Mia. We must go try and find Grimby. Okay. Yes, yes. If you need help with Mr. Chum's condition, perhaps we could come to some arrangement. Thank you. We will keep that in mind. I'll turn around and start walking towards the front door. I'll follow you and say, who? Who? What friends? What are we talking about? There are just some people that caught up, got caught up in all of this mess. For now, let's focus on Chum. He needs our help. Friends? I mean, I've only ever heard you talk about Campbell. I was assured that Campbell is okay, but I do desire to look in on him as soon as possible. Oh, right. Okay. So that's who you're talking about? He is my friend, yes. Okay. So where are we going? Janella's house? That is the only other place I can think that he may be. Yeah, I'd like to cast Locate Creature. Okay. And, um... Describe a creature familiar to you, so I'm looking for a peg-legged gentleman with a (laughs) scurvy accent. (laughs) And, um... It says I can sense the direction to his location as long as he's within a thousand feet, which is probably not. But... As we walk around, I could know if we're walking by his house or hiding place or something. Um, What is the duration of it? Oh, um, it lasts up to an hour with concentration. Perfect. Easy. Okay, great. Shikara, as you and me are at the threshold of of the Great Hall stepping out of it, you get that same goose flesh up your arm and that that shudder across your body. And, And again, you see Isabella reacting the same way as the portal in the keep activates you know the the red light the the stone within the frame crumbling red light briefly illuminated and then snuffs out and the stone forms once again oh my what's going on shikara i do not know what what are you guys even talking about did you not see the portal activate oh no i was walking out the door sorry I grab Valdren's sleeve and pull him away from the door. I'll step back into the keep. Perhaps it's malfunctioning. I may need to deactivate it. Valdren knows invisibility. If they had used it before. Why would they follow after me? Wait, I thought you said only Jessica could use the portal. Like I said, they would not be able to control where they ended up. So mayhaps they did not intend to follow me. If they are here, there's jumping to conclusions. Perhaps I will deactivate it for now, and I'll examine its magics. Make sure it's functioning properly. Are you sure you have to do that, Izzy? I... How are we going to get back out of the island? Perhaps charter a vessel. I have many people repairing the docks, repairing sections of the city. Can we, can we just remember, you said it would take a couple hours to get the items. We'll go find Grimby. It'll be so much easier to get off the island if you just leave the portals open a couple more hours. But if they're not functioning properly, there's no guarantee if even members of the coven use it, they'll end up where they need to go. Just let me examine it. If it's working properly, it's nothing to lose. All right, we shall go find Grimby. Mia. Okay. Yeah, I. this whole portal thing is very confusing to me. I don't know how you can tell when someone's using it. I mean, I guess my back was turned. Is there something nearby that I could accidentally, accidentally, in quotes, knock over to make a loud noise so that maybe two other people could uh, move quickly away from the portal? Uh, I mean, not <laughs> really. You could maybe, like, <laughs> rip a torch sconce off a wall or something. Like, what do you... I'm... Well, like, just like a, there was a stand or something there that like, I could actually bump, bump into and knock over. Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, yeah. On your way out, kind of, you know, again, on either side of, of, of the entrance to the Great Hall, maybe kind of a, a, an ornate, like, uh, like tincture kind of sitting on a, on a pedestal. And I'll, like, trip over my feet and bump into it and knock it over. Oh, 
Oh, Isabella, I hope that wasn't something you actually liked. Why don't you make me a performance check? <laughs> I'm not going to help you because I don't know what you're doing. Mia is clueless, as always. Y- you don't know we're there either. I I am going on the assumption that maybe Shikara, you're invisible. Yeah. And so I made a loud noise just in case. Shakara might. So you could run away. Mia's clueless. Like when someone uses the portal, Shakara knows. Mia has no idea. 23. And I know you guys heard the activation word. And Falls are smart enough to, after one time hearing yeah, it, Yeah, like why would Jessica say be invisible? It. But if you're not there, then I accidentally broke something of Isabella's. Oh well. <laughs> Extra five years in the coven. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it wasn't a mirror. <laughs> oh no, not at all. That's something of Alamos. <laughs> Been meaning to clear it out anyway. Hi, redecorating. All right, let, let's let's go, Mia. Before I create any more damage. Okay, so as we start walking out, I will begin casting and concentrating on locate creature, thinking of Grimby Chum, and I will leave the keep door open a little bit. Yeah, yeah, the, the, it's, again, it's like a large set of double doors. Every time you've been here, like, they've never been closed. Okay. And, yeah, as you're kind of exiting, like, Izzy gets up from the table she's seated at, and she starts to move over to the door frame to, you know, start examining her her portal and uh, make sure it's working properly. I'll keep pulling falls and over away from the door. So we're, we'll get some distance between us. I'm not resisting at all, <laughs> in case there was any question. Uh, and are you just going to follow Shakara and Mia, or what are you two going to do? Not going to follow. Okay. I guess we'll kick you back off mic. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you want to take? This is so much back and forth again. <laughs> let's, uh, okay, let's go with, let's go with John and, and Bill then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try to continue to very quietly move towards the hallway that leads back to Alomar's study or a room, and, uh, you know, if we see anybody in the hallways or anybody coming, we'll just stop quietly and let them pass and try to avoid any. Yeah, and as you're exiting the Great Hall, again, Is- Isabella was on her way over to, to the portal. Oh, Hulsa, come give me a hand. Just place your, place your hand here. Yes, yes, yes. And Isabella kind of, you know, waves her own hands and, uh, and utters an incantation and, like, a... a, a bolt of red energy kind of lances out and hits Hulsa in the chest and knocks her to the... Oh, oh, oh so, so, sorry, dear. Now, now try placing your hand uh, here as you're exiting the Great Hall. Uh, you can both make me a stealth check. Uh, again, with advantage from the invisibility plus the without a trace bonus. Oh boy. It's a good thing. 23 for Shaft. Actually, it's more than that. 30. <laughs> okay. Thank goodness. <laughs> 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 yeah, so uh, 28 for Falsey. Moving through the hallways, they are definitely filled with people, um, more wizards, and you see pretty much everyone here is kind of donned like these dark green robes, uh, clearly a, some type of change of, of, of wardrobe uh, amongst a lot of these Heracleonians, and uh, many of them have what looks like a, a brooch adorned on, on their on their robes, but it looks very similar to both of you. Uh, it's just a smooth, like oval shaped, polished, looks like a polished iron stone or some type of stone. Just as if they're wearing them like some type of badge or something on, on their robes. Quite, quite a number of them are sporting those. But you are very easily able to make it down these, you know, they're, they're like wide, like 10 and 15 foot ha- wide hallways in some places. Incredibly easy to maneuver around the keep Again, kind of taking a, a same path that you did that first, you know, that night of Isabella's inauguration, right? You're just breaking your way back <laughs> to Alomar's study, and inside it is empty. It seems like many of the, you know, the papers that had littered the desk, they've always they've been cleared. There's it's devoid of any items. Uh, still, many books left on his uh, the bookshelves that were on either side of the wall. And you'd like to activate... You're, you're going down to his secret library, yes? Yeah, yes. yes. Activating it, the activation, little stone right at the... Kind of at the leg of... One of the legs of his desk. Find it. Again, still there. Nothing's changed. It opens up. 
the bookshelf, you know, that soft grinding of stone as it opens up. Uh, you're able to to enter it, and uh, if you recall, there was a, a lever immediately past its threshold to be able to close it back up again, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. And it is it is dark down here, but uh, I believe with your goggles and Falsey's dark vision, there's that's not a problem for you, right? And you descend the stairs down into that long L-shaped hallway, approaching the the corner, the bend in at the elbow. Now there was a rune on the ground, was there not? That was a trap, or you have previously discovered slash triggered a, a, a trap here, yes. But I think we came back down after we had uh, triggered that, and it didn't trigger the second time that we came down here, if I recall. That is correct, yeah. So I think we'll, Shaft will go first and slowly make his way to the double doors. Why don't you make me a, a perception check? Uh, 14. And as you're approaching the corner, you don't see any sign of some type of hidden rune or anything and you're able to pass take the left at the bend moving towards the double doors and they are closed okay and it doesn't seem there's anything hindering your progress so since we're not i'm not tugging him anymore i'll say seems safe come on down yeah i'll follow opening the doors into the next chamber Uh uh-huh yeah throwing them open there is torchlight down here and if you recall directly across from where the doors open, there was a set of four cages, right? Basically, like cells that had zombies in there that Mia had destroyed. Mm-hmm. Instead of reanimated corpses, you see Janella, Hef, and Tenchi, <laughs> each in their own cell. You gotta be kidding me! All three of them are, are awake. As you pro- like, as you were approaching, you didn't hear them like speaking. It seems they're they're basically just kind of slumped in the corner, but they, they each react to the opening doors and they get to their feet. So, uh, someone there, eh? What's going on? I sort of reach back to see if I can find Felsrin. Shh. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything at, right now. And then I'll see if I can grab. Can I Can I find him somewhere? Do I know approximately where he is? Absolutely. Yeah. Like, you're, you're like... It's clear you open the door, right? He knows you open the door, so he yeah. can certainly find you. I'll give him a couple tugs and push him, or sort of pull him towards the library so we can uh, talk there. <laughs> There's no one there, Hef. It's just Isabella messing with our minds again. And you kind of move past them, uh, again, finding your way to the immediate right. Mm-hmm. Past the little like makeshift kennel that used to house the blink dogs, right? Again, it's it's now empty. Nothing seems to have been d- done with the straw bedding that was left there. Just completely seems like it's it's ignored by Isabella. And you you get down, take the hallway, you know, like the left, and then the, another left, yeah. almost making this square into Alamar's library. And it has apparently been been ransacked, many volumes missing, books kind of th- discarded on the floor, you know, pages kind of open all over the place. Somebody was certainly down here finding something, but a lot of it was left behind. Well, Falzerin, uh, apparently they're not part of the the group. They're being held hostage. I'm not surprised. Something didn't seem right about them Who being appointed. Who is hostage? What is happening? The, these were these were the people that Isabella had appointed to be elders, and I had my suspicions from the very beginning about her intentions for doing that. Yeah, it's Tenchi. Ran the ran the tavern down by the port, and Janella ran the library, and and Hefe, he's the one that did the port. (laughs) (laughs) That's why I didn't. That's why I didn't name any names. That's all right, Almar. You know who they are. Uh, Denji has been a thorn in my side for many years. Janella, what? Why would they, of all people, be appointed eldership? I don't quite know, but I have a feeling they're going to be used as bargaining chips because they all have somewhat of an association to us. Yeah, I think so. We can let them go, but if they if we try to get them out now, they're just going to get caught. Yeah, that's my worry as well. I'll tell you what. Alamar and you, why don't you guys go ahead and start looking for that those books that we need? Tell me what the title is. I'll dig through them. 
Yes, yes. There should be a history of the Zelwick line. A biography of my family. A volume or two. I do not see any reason Isabella would find it interesting. What's it look like? What color is it? Red leather bound. Silver calligraphy upon its cover. Yeah, you want to spend a bit of time here searching, obviously. Again, it's like there's like debris, like some of the shelves have been have been broken. Yeah. It's it's basically like litter to search through. I think that's why we came here. So any book that I find that doesn't even remotely look like red leather, I'm chucking over to the side. Okay, absolutely. No, that's perfect. That's perfect. As fast as possible. I'm also looking quickly, but not throwing books to the side like Shaft is doing. <laughs> very disrespectful Neatly way to treat books. Them back on the shelf in alphabetical order. <laughs> yes. Hurry up, Valsrum. We don't have time for this. <laughs> yeah, after about 10 or 15 minutes of searching, you, you find a, a red leather bound cover that just basically, it's in silver script, it just says Zelwick on, on, the, on the cover. There. Is this it? That certainly looks like it. It says Zelwick on the cover, Alamar. It, it meets the description. Yes, that must be it. If you look inside the cover, there should be a dedication to Sarah Zelwick. Open it up. And on the very front page, dedicated to Sarah Zelwick. Okay. Here, stick this in a sack. Let's get out of here. But, can you make... The other three invisible along with us. We've got past without a trace for an hour. Are we running okay. up on the uh, end of that, or do we have some time? I would say, because an hour for both spells, you're probably uh, halfway through each of their duration. Okay. Definitely enough time to get out of the key, for sure. So I could make three people invisible. So we can take one other person with us. That's right. That's going to go over well. <laughs> <laughs> so... So our choice is, we can take one of them with us, or we just leave them all here, but they could be, they could be killed. I know, they are not going to like this proposition. Well, which one could help us the, help us the best? I don't know. Tenchi? The, the two that are told that they're staying behind, they're not going to agree to this. As much as I hate the thought of leaving all three of them, I, I don't know, Shaft. Well, I know if we let them out and they walk up upstairs, they're going to get caught. I know. Oh, this is a terrible situation. I mean, we can go talk to them and, fa- and let them know the, s- the situation and see what they want to do. Or we can just hightail it out of here and... Well, we could talk to them and worst case scenario, they won't see reason and understand understand the situation that we're in and refuse to cooperate but we might get some information out of them even if we have to leave all of them best case scenario they see our situation and our perspective and and agree that one getting free for the time being is better than none okay why don't we do that we don't have a lot of time left let's get going okay so i think we'll head back around and go up to the cage and cages are they talking to each other or are they just laying there you see Tenshi and Janela they're they're at the the you know the where the bars where the door the front of them would be right and they're just kind of both leaned against it sharing against one of the the brick walls and they look like they're actually just holding hands on like through the bars kind of next comfort each other kind of thing other than that they they're they appear to be just silent silently comforting comforting each other all right, I'll walk up to the middle cell. I'll walk up to the cell Tenchi's in. Hey, Tenchi. It's a shaft. What? Don't don't react. Shaft! Just, shh. Quiet. Don't know if they can hear anything. Come here. Come to the front. Right here by the gate. Come over by the lock. Where the lock is. Yes, I'm here. What's going on? Why are you guys in a cage? Isabella imprisoned us. Is, is Shikara with you? No. It's Good. Command Falzerin. She left us here. Did she... She knew you were trapped? Yes, we spoke to her. We begged her to, to free us. Was she alone? She refused. Or was she with Isabella? She was alone. See? God. All right. Well, we can't break you out of here now. We can only take one of you. 
and I think that would just raise an alarm. We can let you out, but there's no way you're going to get out of here. What is the status of the city? We haven't been out. I, I think you're right, Shaft. If one of us leaves, that is bad for the two left behind. Have they threatened to do you harm, or is, are you just being kept here? So far, you're be, being kept alive in this squalor. So you're saying we, sh- we shouldn't trust Shakara? I'm saying that she refused to free us. Well, I, I apologize. I, I wish I had the capabilities to make you all invisible and help you escape with us, but I, I, I just can't do it. I, I don't know what to say. Well, now that we know that you're here, we'll do our best to get you out. I don't know when and I don't know how. Well, that is not comforting. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. It's the way it is right now, buddy. Well, I guess it's no different than where we were two minutes ago before we began speaking, so... I mean, we can let you out if you want to risk it. That's your decision. I I don't know where we would even go. The the bar is destroyed. Well, I'll tell you what. If we can find Drag, maybe we can get back down here and get you guys out of here. Do you have any idea where Drag might be? No, uh, he's, why is he not with you? No, we'll, we'll find him. I was just curious if uh, he had heard anything before they put you down here. All right, well, hold tight. We don't have a lot of time. Now, uh, before we go, do you have any idea of what's happened with the city and the inhabitants here since we've left? Since Isabella has taken over? I see people wearing different attire. You know more than than I. We, we've been down here since we were appointed and he makes air quote, heavy air quotations elders. I see. We are ushered directly out of the hall here. Roughed up, thrown in these cells. Well, I suppose it's reassuring that nothing has been done to harm you in the time that you've been here. We will certainly do our best to get back and free you as soon as we can. Do be careful out there. We will. Let's go. And I walk towards the door. And once we go through, I'll shut the door back up. Head back up, pull the lever. Oh, first I'll listen. Listen carefully. Is there anybody out there? (laughs) Sounds quiet out there. Okay. Open the bookcase. Go out. Shut the bookcase. Do the same with the door. Listen at the door. If I don't hear anything, sneak out. And we're going to work our way back, hopefully, to see the portal still functioning. Well, you can both make me another stealth check on your way back to the Great Hall. My goodness, it is so good we have advantage. Just rolled a nat 1, and the last time around I rolled a 3. Oof. That's not very good either. 27 for Shaft. Uh, 16 for Falzern. Okay, that is still enough to maneuver back through the hallway. Back to the Great Hall. And you see Halsa having gotten back to her feet clearly in the time you've been gone. And Isabella is still kind of standing at the at the portal. You hear her utter the, the activation word, and she steps through, the stone reforming between the frame set into it, leaving Halsa behind. I'm going to uh, grab Shaft by the arm and try and lead him out of earshot, perhaps back out into the hallway if there's no one around there where I can talk to him and um, Halsa won't hear us. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll fall back with him. Shaft, uh, we're not going to be able to use this portal. No, no, now, is- now's our chance. Isabella's in there. She's going to sense as soon as we go through it. She could deactivate it with us in that hallway. The magical hallway. It's our only way out of this, I- off this damn island. I suppose. I mean, we can try it. What's the worst that can happen? I Wait, hate to don't be- answer that. Let's just try it. <laughs> Perhaps she'll think it's Shikara and Mia using it. Well, she won't see us. If we go in the hallway, we'll still be invisible as long as we hurry. She'll think it's just glitchy. I guess. All right, let's go. Okay. Head, beeline it right to the to the uh, portal. Okay, and Falls, are you activating it? Yes. The tremors in the stone reduce it to dust. The bright red light between the frame activating. Still seemingly functioning again, catching 
Hulsa off guard as the two of you step over his threshold, it forming instantly behind you, leaving Heraculon behind once again. And the, the same twisting, disorienting effect coming in, you find yourself in that same polished hallway. And there is a V carved in to one of the doors. Not that one. <laughs> All right. Do you want me to roll again? Yeah, roll me, uh, roll me a d6 again. So I got a one. <laughs> well, oh, I know no. that's not where we've been before. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Let's go back to <laughs> Shigara and Mia. <laughs> Shikara and Mia. Mia having just cast her locate creature. Tired in attempt to find the, the chiseled... Um, gorgeous hunk of a man that Grimby Chum is. Mm-hmm. Moving into the city, I assume, obviously, from the keep. No problem exiting it. You do see there is some activity in the hallway. It's just outside of it, right? But again, the, the large portcullis is thrown open and you walk right out into the city. And moving through it down to... I, you said you wanted to head to Janela's, right? That's where you thought he might be? Yeah, but if Mia is going to direct us somewhere else with her locate, then I will follow her probably start that way yeah okay great uh right with the with the thousand foot limitation moving through the city it's lots of activity going on as it is early late-ish morning mid-morning right you've kind of just really woken up there hasn't been much time that's passed since your since your rest many of the the people in the the streets you see some of them have what look like like a silver polished stone kind of adorned to their robes, uh, pinned there like a badge or a brooch or something. Uh, th- there are quite a few of them that do sport this as you're walking around the uh, the city itself. And your the effects of your spell, Mia, they do start to, to pull you towards the, the heart of the city, towards the knowledge center as you're moving through. And it doesn't seem like you're getting any, any strange looks around. People... people just seem really busy and as you get to the knowledge center where you can just again the sloped elevation of, of the city where the front gate had been blown in by the attacking cultists you see there's looks like there's a repair team there they've kind of pulled up the the bent and scorched metal elegant metal frame that had been nearly destroyed it seems it's being mended and, and put back up many of the, the destruction that happened to the buildings are is also being tended to There just really looks like everyone, there's a a citywide effort, it seems, to be rebuilding what once was the glory of Magic Town. And your spell pulls you past the Knowledge Center through the streets, familiar streets from when you had fled the Knowledge Center in the middle of the night, being chased by the, the metallic men. And the corpse of the metallic dragon has also been cleaned up outside of of the knowledge center kind of looking up above though at the anchor room the the glass like solarium type room it does seem like still some damage around some some again scorches around like the fourth floor window uh, from the battle that ensued up there your spell pulls you to janella's home all right i mean i guess guess he's here pulling me here let's go in yes let's go in should should we knock I suppose it would be polite. I'll knock on the door. After a a few seconds, uh, there's no answer. Okay, let's go. I'll open the door and go in. Well, it is locked. Is there a back door or something? There is, yeah. Let's go to the back door. Check it. Yeah, it's it's locked up as well. Okay. I'd rather bash down the back door, right, Shikara? We're trying to blend in. I was just thinking the same. Is there anyone? Is there anyone that can see us? Like, or is the back door like secluded? It's fairly secluded. It's kind of like this back alley with a... Uh, it's like a, like a bunch of row houses, right? So the, the back doors, and many of them do face this narrow alley. Looks like it's barely just wide enough to like pull a supply cart through kind of thing. Uh, so it is hidden away. Should anyone maybe walk down this alley, they would have a pretty clear view of you. But at the time, it's empty. Is there... Glass uh, in the door or around the door, a window or anything? The back door does have like a glass pane set in it, covered 
with closed curtains. I will watch for anybody coming our way. Mia, break the glass and unlock the door. All right, get my hammer. Give it a little tap, tap. Oh, uh, yeah, and it takes no effort with that mighty hammer to shatter. <laughs> and uh, you can, yeah, reach in and unlatch the deadbolt and <laughs> be and eat your way into Janelle's house. <laughs> All right, I will uh, kind of tiptoe in, see what's going on. Okay. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, of course, there's no light in here. It is kind of dark. All the all the shades have been drawn on all the windows and stuff. So there's no none of the natural light that is, is getting in. But that's not a problem for either of you, being able to see in here regardless. Uh, it's it's very quiet. There's doesn't seem to be any noises coming from anywhere within the residence. Is my spell continuing to draw me to a location? Yeah, yes. So as you are kind of on the first floor, it's very clear that he's would be higher up, deeper into the house and, and like on, on at least the second floor. As you do know, this house does only have two two stories. So you know he's not on the main floor. Okay. Shakara, I'm going to go upstairs. You stay by the door. Granby, it is us. We're coming. I'll go upstairs. When you had first gotten here, I think you spent that night here or that interrupted night, right? With the tremors and the attacks from the the cultist ships on the island. There was uh, a main bedroom that Shakara had put Grimby in. He's not in that one, but he is in what looks like would be like a guest room or something. Kind of just laying on the bed, uh, you know, a little bit of drool kind of dripping down his down his mouth. You see on a dresser set in front of the bed, like on the opposite wall, right, is his axe is laid nicely, kind of ornately, actually. It seems like Janelle is, you know, treated with some respect, at least his meager belongings that you had and left with her at least he's just yeah he's there on the bed he seems to be breathing and just as feeble-minded as the last time you saw him i will uh start casting greater restoration and uh and touch him on the shoulder he jolts (laughs) mia where be we what be going on Where's my boat? Where's the Ryzen 3? And that's our show. For more Aspar information, visit encouragableparty.com, where you can find all of our social media links, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, as well as our Patreon. Our patrons get exclusive content like blooper reels and patron-only mini campaigns. Our theme music was created by Josh Jarvis. For any of your musical needs, you can contact him at jamesmercymusic at gmail.com. Well, the rest of our sounds and music throughout our plays provided by tabletopaudio.com. And of course, our show sponsor, Critical Hit Design. For your design needs, visit criticalhitdesign.com. Happy adventuring.